Can you imagine a world where the sky is no longer free? Recent events in the Middle East have painted a vivid picture of this chilling reality. The story begins with the escalating tensions between Israel and Iran. In a world where political conflicts often remain restricted to the ground, the skies have now become a contested territory. This has led to a domino effect that resonates globally, impacting not just the warring nations, but also the innocent bystanders of the aviation world. In January 2024, Iran launched attacks into Pakistan, Iraq, and Syria. The conflict, rooted in the Israel-Hamas war, saw Iran supporting Hamas and engaging in military actions. Concurrently, the United States stood by Israel's offensive against Hamas and also targeted Houthi rebels in Yemen. This was the spark that ignited the powder keg. Fast forward to April 14, 2024. Amid heightened tensions, airlines began canceling and diverting flights due to Iran's missile attack on Israel. The skies over Israel, Iran, Iraq, and Jordan were either closed or restricted, affecting flights into Tel Aviv. Major airlines such as American Airlines, El Al, United Airlines, Etihad Airways, Swiss Airlines, Fly Dubai, Delta Airlines, Qantas Airways, and Kuwait Airways found themselves scrambling to adjust their flight operations. In an unprecedented move, Lufthansa suspended flights to Tehran, and Qantas avoided Middle East airspace altogether. This was in response to warnings from US intelligence agencies of a potential attack from Iran on Israel. The situation has remained fluid, with uncertainties looming over potential US airspace restrictions if tensions escalate further. It's a stark reminder that the consequences of geopolitical conflicts extend far beyond the borders of the nations involved. To summarize, the escalating tensions between Israel and Iran have spilled over into the skies, impacting global aviation. Major airlines have had to cancel or divert flights, and some have even suspended operations to certain destinations. The situation remains uncertain and continues to evolve, with potential implications for U.S. airspace restrictions. In the end, it forces us to confront an uncomfortable truth, that in times of conflict, even the boundless sky isn't truly free.